Okay, so we're looking at another specified prac um, today. We're looking at identifying metals in salt. So I've got my table of results drawn up early. Potassium, sodium, lithium, barium, calcium. And then I've got a selection of five salts. Now, what they could ask you is that you've got unknown salts and you would be using um, this method to find out the metal in them. Now, just to point something out, I've got hydrochloric acid here. And the reason for that is every time I use one of these inoculating loops, I'm going to wash the metal salt off after so I'm not getting a contaminated one. So first thing then, let's get this to roar in flame. And we're going to look, so we're, going to be, we're expecting yellow, aren't we? Oh, look at that. Has that worked? Yeah. So that's the sodium. So I'm going to write down... Yellow. And is it key terminology is golden yellow, is it? Is that what we're looking for? Golden yellow is that's important. So we've seen barium then, it's apple green. That is the colour it should have come out originally. So into my table of results, then we've got apple green. And make sure we're saying apple green. Right, so we'll now look at doing we have lithium lithium we're expecting red, red yeah. any key terminology with this miss lahan or just red is fine some people say crimson yeah some people red, say red. crimson red. here we go you see it a really good color change miss if you come around this side a bit we can see it really well on this side of the flame. So we've got lithium then, where's crimson? Crimson. Finally, we've got two left, we're looking at calcium hydroxide. Now this one again, does go red, but the key terminology we're looking for is brick red. So brick red now if they're asking you, you will not get the mark for just saying red. So we may need to use the spray, this one. Is that a good That's enough colour change? Very similar to... Again, around this side, if I just showed it into oh, the go. side, there we go. There's your colour change. So we've got calcium then. Again, it looks the same. So it's, we're looking at brick red. And then finally then, we've got potassium. So we're looking for a lilac here. Okay, you see it? There we go, lilac on the side there. And so I'm just going to record that in my table of results. So they're the four... Five ions, sorry, that you need to know. Safe to blame. So we've got lilac. Okay, so an experiment here. It's a specified prac for unit two, and it's about identifying the halogen. So those are our group seven elements. Uh, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. We're identifying their ions. So chloride, bromide, iodide. Just a quick point, we can't... Um, identify fluoride this way because it doesn't produce a precipitate which is what we're looking for so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put silver nitrate in every one of these test tubes okay so I don't need an awful lot of it just enough bottom so I've got through there and then I'm just going to add some of my solution so these have got halide ions. So I first got chloride, so I'm going to put a drop in there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do bromide. And then finally, I'm going to do iodide. see that now then 
focus in. We've got our chloride. That turns a white to precipitate. And I know it's a precipitate because that's a solid produced. I then get my bromide. It's a cream one, so slightly darker. And then finally my iodide, which is a yellow one. Okay, so we're going to do another specified prac here. This is for the identification of gases. So we're going to show you the squeaky pop test, which is for hydrogen gas. I've got some magnesium ribbon and some hydrochloric acid. When we have an acid and magnesium is called a base metal, we'll produce a salt and hydrogen gas. So I'm going to put some acid in here, quickly put the boiling tube on top to collect the gas, and then I'm going to put a lit splint and hopefully you'll hear the squeaky pop. Should. There we go. Get it? And carbonate. I've got some lime water. It's got nothing to do with lime. We're just calling it that. And then finally, I'm going to do a boiling tube and a delivery tube system. So let's first get my lime water in there. Now, what I'm looking for here is that if carbon dioxide is being produced, it will form a cloudy precipitate. So our liquid will begin to turn cloudy. Chips. And there. And then get the acid. Ready? So I'm making sure my delivery tube is in to my system. A sec. And we're going to add the acid and I'm going to quickly put the bung on the top to trap any of that carbon dioxide which is being produced. And we can see that the gas bubbling in is carbon dioxide and you can see now it's turning milky. Okay, so another specified prac here, we're looking at identifying oxygen. So I've got some hydrogen peroxide in here, H2O2, and I've got my catalyst here, manganese oxide. Now, hydrogen peroxide does turn into oxygen gas very, very slowly, but we know from our rates module that catalyst is going to increase the rate of that very quickly. So if we place in this catalyst, I'm just looking for a spatula full, in there. Keep going. I'm then going to have a, a splint which has just been put out. <laughs> Got an assistant here, and we're going to place that back in, and it's going to relight because the oxygen is helping it out. 